Versolog GmbH. Life without stress is like people without wrinkles. So we can complain about stress as much as we want. We cannot avoid that we have to face stress time by time. And the question is, how can we deal appropriate with stress? Stress is mostly a question of perception. My belief system says, if we are not able to change things, it's helpful to stop moaning and to start, for example, with stress, to start an appropriate stress management. To recognize stress signals in time and to take countermeasures. Oftentimes we are not victims, but we behave like victims. I will give you a favorite quote. You are not able or you cannot stop the waves, but you can learn how to surf, how to deal appropriate with the waves in your life. Stress is nothing else than the imbalance between external and internal demands on the one hand and our capability to deal with them appropriate. And if we don't have the capability to deal appropriate with the external and internal demands, then we call it stress. An old Zen master was asked by a German guy, could you please tell me the secret of meditation? And the Zen master said, yes, that's very simple. If I sit, I'm sitting. If I stay, I'm staying. And if I walk, I'm walking. And the German guy said, that sounds a stupid answer. This is what we are all doing. No, no, the Zen master said. If you sit, you are staying. And if you stay, you are walking. And the meaning behind is a lot of human beings lost the ability to be present. Hopefully you are here with the ability to be present. Hopefully you are, uh, it's not only your body is sitting here, resting um, from this exhausted um, event, etc., etc. The ability to be present is one of the most important things to avoid stress. If we live in mind in the past, or if we do live in mind in the future, we cannot avoid to come under stress. Let's talk about work-related stressors. A first work-related um, stressor is mental overload. Mental overload means it's the amount of tasks per time as well as the time pressure. And again, it's the question, are we victims of these issues or are we able to deal appropriate with them? Oftentimes in companies, um, I, I realize that people have no clue idea what they really have to do. And sometimes there is an imbalance between what to do and how to do it. And if they know the what, oftentimes they don't know the how. The how is in the field of the unspoken expectations. And the critical feedback about the unspoken expectations normally will be opened with the saying, I thought you have known that, etc., etc. There are some people, they carry the entire world on their shoulders. They deeply convince I'm responsible for everything and everybody and I'm responsible for the en entire world. And we cannot avoid that this feeling causes stress. How do I behave in a situation of stress? Is my behavior in a more productive way or is my behavior in a more non-productive way? 
When I rely on others, I am a failure. Nothing works without me. It's terrible to have to rely on others. I'm in danger for that thinking. My youngest daughter, Lisa, when she was eight years, came home saying, I want, I want to learn to play the flute. And we said, fine, no problem. We will buy a flute, we will organize lessons for you, and then you can learn that. And after the first lesson, she came home and tried to practice playing the flute. And there came out terrible sounds. You cannot imagine how terrible a flute can sound. It was a disaster. After two minutes, she said, I can't do that. I am not able for that. My wife put her arms around her, saying, my dear, it was a very good start, it was a very good beginning, and I'm deeply sure you will make it, blah, 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 etc., etc. The next day I was at home, the same scenario. Flute, crazy tones, and the saying of Lisa, I'm not able to do that. I looked to her and said, you are right. And you are not the only one who knows that. All neighbors are also knowing that now. They were able to hear that. It was really a disaster. I have a question for you. Is the saying, I can't, a situational insight, or is it an attitude? If you want to learn it, no problem. Practice, practice, practice. She is in the meantime 19 years. She plays wonderful flute. Then a few days later, she came back to me and said, I tried with a situational insight. And this is my question to you about the mindsets. All these mindsets are in danger to become an attitude. And if these mindsets are an attitude, these mindsets are roadblockers for us. And then these mindsets are in danger to cause stress. But if these mindsets are nothing else than the situational insights, no problem, we can change it. Thank you so much. Video, Image und Eventfilmproduktion.